So we are now winding down to the last two episodes of the second season, just of the first core at least though. And I can definitely tell there's going to be a lot of action going on. We just got introduced to a new character and apparently that was a translation error. So apparently she's from the Mages Association, not the church. Cause I was like, oh, we about to see Kide here as well. Cause yeah, they already started bringing in other like fate elements into this. So yeah, might as well, I guess, add him, you know, and whoever else, you know, surprise, like they might add as well. Cause they already did the servants. Yeah, we got Kiritsugu, Irisville. So yeah, that wouldn't even be a surprise to me. And um, let's see, cause I'm, I'm just looking at some comments right now. Now the thing with the dark skin, yeah, obviously, you know, Kudo, of course, her dark skin, cause you know, to tell them apart, you know, it just be easier. And then, yeah, the thing with Shido, the reason why he eventually turned darker was because of the projections. It added a toll to his body. Yeah, his hair started turning white. I, I think I remember hearing that somewhere. But yeah, the more projections he did, the more it just took that toll on his body burnt his skin turned the hair white and then yeah that like fake hero her art spear that we know now and then yeah being a part of that counter guardian yeah he constantly has to make these weapons and all and then hey it depends because i know yeah it definitely got to take more toll on his body just replicating something from a servant you know uh maybe something like excalibur or something like that and then actually being able to use like the um noble phantasm but i think that's specifically for prisma ia here but yeah other than that though that's pretty much about it so hey let's see what else they got for us yeah boz a hey, wipe them out and my boy what was his name august nah that boy he pulled out nah bro he just started blasting i'm like yeah i knew he had something in him though had those scars already but yo, hope you guys will enjoy this though. Make sure you like, subscribe, and yeah, let's get this reaction started. Yeah, here we go with the nurse again. Understand her role. Yeah, what what is that exactly? Yeah, she what drinks that tea. Yeah, we gonna start seeing. Oh, come on now, go home and sleep. I thought she was about to do something else. Yeah, Ia, she's not there. She is across the street, though. Yo, she's quickening that pace. Yeah, they better get ready. Yeah, barehanded. Okay. <laughs> Fire a little transformation there. Yeah, Kudo might have found her match now. Bear, yeah, hitting those swords. She grabbed the tree and threw it down. And then proceeds to still. What? Okay. Oh, she remembers something. Uh, who is that? I was going to say it looked like Shido, but the face was covered up. Or the eyes. Blindfolded. Return it? Yo. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. She already had those two cards. Yeah, that, yeah, that looked like Shudo there. That archer. Yeah, you gotta think about it. It's like, yeah, how did we already have those two cards? And then, yeah, just got passed on to Ren and Luvia. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't matter. We've already been through many dangerous battles. Might as well at least try. Oh, she already deduced. Yeah, using the Mystic Code. Oh, there we go. Yeah, association. So, yeah, now the translation isn't mixed up. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, because I can see the hands glowing. Like, she's do applying something to it. Yeah, I mean, fast. Yeah, just coming from every direction. Yeah, you can uh, keep up that defense. Hold up. Okay, yeah, I saw those little, like, symbols on the hand. Yeah, she's uh, <laughs> definitely something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, restraining her like that. Yep. Yeah, can't even move now. Okay, yeah. Ia thinking. Let's see if it hopefully worked. Yeah, of course she's gonna break through it. Yeah. So if they'd just been twofold, then it would have worked. Dang! Yeah, did she, yeah, she literally just... Okay. Lifted up the whole... Like, what? Concrete the whole ground. And punched her. Yeah, but there's still one card that she won't be able to get. Because, like, there's literally one right there. Ooh, yeah. Countering her teleport. And then the problem is Ia, yeah, like, whatever she gets hit with, that pain, it just connects right to Kuro. Yeah, at least get the cars and get on out of there. Ooh, who is that? Yeah, me, you. Yep. She should at least be a, a scary older sister. Yeah, she'll at least be able to hold her down for a while. Oh, hold up. This might be more than she can handle. No. Yeah. Oh, she, um, a writer. Okay. I look on a... Okay. Yeah, looking kind of crazy on uh, Miyu there. Yeah, she make nah. She make that look powerful compared to how I've seen it before. And yeah, I see that CG on it, or I mean, them both actually. Oh, turned around and grabbed onto it. So, 
Okay, yeah, I was I was just thinking about that too. Yeah, those mystic eyes. Yeah, cause I'm like, she got the um you know little blindfold on. I was like, yeah, is she gonna take it off? Or is that just simply a part of the you know the look, the outfit? But yeah, like <sighs> Cause they be taking out writers so quickly. I'm like, why can't I see her do none of that? that that's what I want to see writer do. But hey, at least I get to see what the mystic eyes can do. Cause apparently it would have turned you into stone. Anyone around her. But yeah, it seems like, yeah, making uh, Bazette use a little bit more power. Oh, yeah? Come on now. Well, yeah, at least we got that one more episode. But yeah, that was fire. Like, that was what I be talking about. I'm trying to see Ryder do all of that. And then she just get taken out. I'm like, yeah? Like, yeah, I do remember seeing the... The um horse, yeah, her use that fly around with it, but I have not seen it like that. I'm like, this look way more powerful. Flying around, tossing around Bazette. Like nah. But yeah, I can definitely see like yeah the bare hand thing. Yeah, it, it's simply like well, I mean unless that is her power, but yeah, I can see something glowing. So it's like some type of a. Uh, I don't know, magic or whatever that she's using. Uh, pl she's applying something, basically, to her hands and feet. To basically make them strong enough to go against heroic spirits on her own and by, like, yeah, with no weapons. But, yeah. By that, I mean, yeah, the real deal. Really taking them out. Yeah, and then the problem with this, yeah, they're connected by that pain. So, yeah, whatever Ia feels, Kudo feels as well. And naturally, well, I mean, I, I would say Kudo is stronger. So, naturally, since he's stronger, I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it just messes up the chances of at least... Holding her down longer. But you can definitely see the strength is there. Literally lifting up the concrete. I mean, yo. Grabbing a tree and swinging it around with ease. Like, come on now. <laughs> yo. Oh, yeah. And then also. So, it's got a blind... Oh, but then at the same time, yeah, they, um, yeah, it's like the anti type of servant. So, of course, yeah, the outfit or whatever is going to be looking a little different. But, yeah, that, that's definitely got to be Shido. And then Lancer. Yeah, he got a blindfold on, too. But, yeah, she already took care of those, too. So, hey, I'm going to just get on to the uh, next one real quick. So, yeah, let's just go on to the next episode. Okay. Again, those different angles. Answer. Yeah, she has been waiting for this moment, apparently. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. How many of those types of... Yeah, exactly what the name of her attack is. Some answers. Yeah, she shot it right through the horse. She revert. Hold up. Did she just reverse time? Or I don't even know what just happened. That's just what it looked like. The sword of inverse light. See, okay, that's why you can't use your strongest attack. 
Cause Ruby did say that. Don't use your strongest attack. Oh yeah, she um got slammed down. Yeah, you should have even told her. Cause like she's going to try and gouge it out. Cause yeah, she's strong alright. She she'll be able to cut it out alright. Yep, just keep on going. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it's about to be it here. Blind those troublesome eyes. All that dust. Yo, she can sense all of that. A mana bullet. And all those projectile projectiles. Yeah. Oh. We'll still cut her. Still got something off. Oh yeah, using the card that's in her pocket. So that was a deke assassin. Oh, there we go. Through the ground. Yeah. And no, I don't, I don't think that looks... I don't look like blood. It's like a symbol. Yep, it turns back time. And she also has that same little curse. That Kudo has. It would mean you would have died before you... Oh. Yeah, what's she gonna do now? So yeah, she slipped in. Okay. Clever thinking there. Yeah, I was thinking like, yeah, that, that was her big plan. Ren just... You know, shot her up and then left. Oh, keep up this bluff. Never mind. An eighth card. What would that be? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, here they go, just adding that extra story. Using her noble phantasm. So, yeah. Human having their own noble phantasm. Yeah, I'm trying to learn more about her. Because, I mean, but Zed's... <laughs> nah, bro, that, that's something else. Able to turn back time, like... It's like, how, how do you beat her then? <laughs> like, yeah, you can't even use your strongest attack? Just gotta find a way to make her immobile or something? Knock her out? Like, <laughs> that's it. Do all that first, or weaken her at least, to a certain point. Then just take her out. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> making me blush now, that's all in a, we already just seen both of their true inner thoughts, uh, even after all of this, just still can't get along. Yo, they thinking about something else. Can you tell me more in detail? Man. Nah, don't let that girl with the glasses get started. We, we already know what she like. Was it the, uh, the BL, bro? No. Where she drew that one time? Oh, is that it? Okay. Actually, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna pause this right here. Because I... 
I don't want this music playing in the background. Cause I actually, for real though, last, actually, yeah, last episodes six or no seven and eight, yeah, they really did get um copyrighted. So yeah, let's just sort of uh scan through this. Oh <laughs> yeah, gotta remake the uh okay. Yeah, I gotta rebuild, oh, don't they? As you're staying at the hotel, okay, yeah, let's uh, let's go through all of that. Um, okay, and then let's continue on from here. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not even playing. I, I really did get copyright for it and had to cut down the video uh, more than usual. Okay, and now, is that about it? Yep. There we go. So yeah, they just had their little talk at yeah, the beach, talking about summer and all of that. So yeah, and let me just make sure. But yeah, sorry if you guys wanted me to see that part. It's just I, I couldn't. Like yeah, the music playing out loud like that. Like for real, I, I really do get. Um, I really do have to sit there and re-edit it. Cause it already takes like what 30 plus uh, 30 minutes plus really like an hour or so just to uh render then i gotta sit there and do it again like yeah i really don't feel like doing it for a third time if it happens again because if i do get another copyright i'm just like okay um because there's like a thing to where you can mute the song only and yeah man it's, it's like at that point <laughs> i'm like just mute the song only. It's, it's only like a few seconds, right? Like, yeah, y'all really getting me for a few se six seconds of music. But at the same time, I feel like that's also why some people don't even look at um or make fate reactions. You know, especially like, yeah, Unlimited Blade works and all that. Yeah, because they could just simply get taken down for that. Hey, man, even if you show like something... Like, because I know you guys definitely know how I do it. Like, I have the logo in the middle. Like, uh, yeah, the logo in the middle. Then, like, the little border around it. Uh, even though the border doesn't cover up anything. That's just for design. Just like my little um, face cam thing right here. But, yeah, I have that. And then the opacity. So, basically, um, I mix in the wallpaper that I got. I put, yeah, yeah, you guys should see it. Yeah, the wallpaper I got right here. And then after that, I just change, yeah, the opacity. Like, yeah, both of that's mixed in. And, yeah, I just try and make it as viewable as possible. But uh, sometimes, hey, man, it's like, yeah, hopefully you guys will be able to see it. But I might have to take it, um, you know, turn it down a little bit. Because, yeah, these fights, yeah, I really try to sh uh, make those the most viewable. Because, yeah, I know, like... I mean, because it's a lot going on, so I guess it might be easier to work around it, like cheat around that, because you had all these little dust effects, uh, particles, and all that going around, so, you know, I can sort of cheat my way through that, but yeah, other stuff, it's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta take it down a notch, but yeah, an eighth card? Yeah, I mean, who would that, <laughs> I'm thinking, because... I mean, we have, let's see, I don't really think about it, like, yeah, who would an eighth be? Um, you know what, that boy Gilgamesh, it's gotta be, right? Yeah, it's gotta be Gilgamesh, because as it is already... Shido's already a fake heroic spirit, so yeah, the real one would be Gilgamesh. I'm thinking, yeah, because there, there are two archers that we know of, but see, one is the real thing, and then the other, yeah, sort of just not exactly one. Like, yeah, it is archer class, but not exactly a heroic spirit like that, sort of turned himself into a heroic spirit. Yeah, it, it, it's got to be Gilgamesh. Because that's all I can think of. Yeah. 
because Unlimited Blade Works, I was, yeah, that that kind of, I think, yeah, Unlimited, that messed me up too uh, back then because I had to remember, like, okay, there's like eight different people here. Then you got Shido, like the actual human Shido himself, like over here using his projections and then going against himself. But yeah, making it sort of like, I mean, not nine servants, but like sort of nine people that can at least, you know, that got that servant-like type of powers. But yeah, I had to constantly remember, like, okay, there's still one one more person that still hasn't get, gotten taken out yet. Or you have... yeah, Oh, no, never mind. Um, assassin, too. Not the, um... Not the one with the mask on, like, with the all-black, the, um... The blue, yeah, the one with the blue, this like the samurai looking one. Yeah, that assassin. Actually, yeah, that was essentially made by Caster. Yeah, that was made by her. Because, yeah, even he was like a fake. Yeah, he was like a fake too. So, hey, it's either way, but hey, I, you already know I'm looking forward to Gilgamesh, really. I'm just saying. Hey. So yeah, we get to see that little anti version of him, that evil version. Hey, I'm all for that. But yeah, being introduced to that, yeah, just a lot more story. And then that just makes me think, what story do they have in season three then? Cause I already know they got the eighth card and then Well, I didn't see how many episodes was a second core. I think that's like what, another ten or so? So yeah, like what else are they gonna have? Cause I know we ain't gonna be doing um, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be finding and trying to get the eighth card for the whole second core, right? But if they find a way to mix it in, then yeah. Cause I already know they might have like, you know, regular uh what school life type of episodes. I already know that. It's... Then some other stuff. But still, even through all of this, still could even defeat Bazette. And then along with that noble phantasm as well, like, yeah, let me see that again. Yeah, going and reversing that time. Yeah, turns back time to pierce in an enemy's heart before they activate their strongest attack. Like, come on now. That is... Yeah, and then that's essentially why she would just be already killed, you know, with that shared pain type of thing. Yeah, she would just take out her own self. Her opponent, yeah, her opponent and then herself at the same time. Yeah, canceling is... Yep. All of that. Hey, man, yeah, she, she definitely was something else. I mean, yeah, the clothes got torn up, but, hey. And, and, well, yeah, some blood, too, got shed. But, still, I mean, she, she like, hey, if I got shared pain, I just don't gotta kill you, right? <laughs> I can ignore the pain. Like, she she really did not care. She like, hey, man, if I got a mission to do, <laughs> I'm gonna go through with that mission. <laughs> pain? Like, what is that? You know, she will go through that pain just to knock someone out. You know, or whatever she has to do. Just so um, she wouldn't kill them in the process, but still beat them up. Like, yeah, that's a lot. But yeah, there's still a lot more I gotta find out. Because it's like, I, I'm i trying to figure out what she even did with her like, hands. Because I saw on her feet, too. Like, yeah, whatever she applied. Yeah, just all that strength that was just on there. Like, they had a defense. And those wands, yeah, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, yeah, they gotta be, yeah, man, they gotta be strong, too, because the way how she was punching them, punching them, it's like, yeah, I feel like they should have been broke, but no, they, they were still, um, you was still there, but I mean, they were made by a specific magic, so, specific type of magic, so, yeah, of course, yeah, they wouldn't break that easily, but other than that, I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm not going to keep you guys for too long. So I hope you guys did enjoy this 
Uh, make sure you have a like and subscribe again, and I will see you guys in the second core of the second season.